We are ready to develop this plate. This is our test plate. And I don't know if the camera can see it very well, but I can see a slight indentation where my imagery is, which is a good sign to look for. I'm also going to point out that some of my paint marker came off on the emulsion, which is not a problem for the plate at all, but it does mean that my drawing got a little bit damaged in those spots. And before I go and make my final exposure to my good plate, I would wanna just double check to make sure that I ink those areas back in if they're critical portions of the design. So this is a little four by five plate and I have a soft vegetable brush that I'm going to use to develop. I also want to remind you to do this in low light. So wear gloves and have your light as dim as you can have it and still see your plate. I've got um, the overhead lights turned off, but I'm just bouncing one little clip lamp up to the ceiling so I have a little bit of light to work by. If you have a bug light, that would be even better. You can work in the sink. I'm down in my basement right now. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I've got a gallon of water that is room temperature that I'll be using to develop the plate. So if you don't have running water, you still can do this process. And then I have a bucket of water that if too much water gets in the developing tray, I can just dump it out periodically without having to um, stop working on my plate. So the first step is just to get some water on the plate. It doesn't need to be submerged. Um, some people do completely submerge it. Others say not to have it completely underwater. I don't think it really matters too much. And um, it's gonna wiggle around a little bit, especially these small plates are pretty lightweight. So you'll have to secure it. I've seen um, in the printmaking studio, I have a few butcher trays and I've bought some pieces of magnetic sign blanks that you would put on a car if you were a business, you know, if you had a little real estate, realtor business or something. Um, and if you stick that magnet to the steel butcher tray, then these plates will stick to them. The back of these solar plates are steel. And so they, they are magnetic and it does help the plate stay still while you're developing it. So my plate is completely underwater right now. If we bring it up, sometimes these plates tend to froth up a little bit as you're working on them. And that's normal too. You need to be very patient. Don't think that this is going to be developed in just a minute or so. It may take you five or six minutes to develop the plate. And as it gets frothy, you can dunk it under the water or pour a little water across it if you're near a sink. You wanna make sure that the water is tepid and not too cold or too hot. It should just sort of be the temperature um, on your skin where you can't quite tell whether it's hot or cold. If it's too hot, it'll wash too much of the plate away. And if it's too cold, it may set the image before you're really ready to have it harden on the plate. So, so you want it somewhere between 68 degrees Fahrenheit and about 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to go over all the plate evenly, kind of pay attention to which portions you've been across. And rinse your brush, rinse your plate, and then just keep going back and developing the plate. So I will stop talking for a while and just develop, and then I will fast forward to the point where I think the plate is ready to pull out of the water and um, blot dry. Rinse it one more time and see if we can start to see some image developing. So you can see part of that figure is developing. This is the hand, the woman that's holding up the, the king. And so I'll keep scrubbing away. I'm gonna scrub hopefully until I get clear down to the steel backing. So again, I'm, I'll kind of keep an eye on the timer, but I think it will be at least another five minutes. I'll stop the camera there. Okay, here we are. And I think we've gotten to the point where this plate is, has been developed as much as it can. I'll shake off the excess water and have you look at it. You can see the figure on there. The top section is where I had the least time and then I had a little bit more time as we get toward the bottom. So two minutes, 
four minutes, six minutes, and eight minutes. So I will blot this dry with some newsprint, and then we will set it out in the sun to dry a little bit longer. So you don't want to rub it. You don't want to have any paper stick to the plate. But blot it several times, and then we'll set it out in the sunshine, let it get nice and hard, and then we'll ink it up and see how the test proof came out. That will give us a really good idea of how much time to use for our final plate. And for that one, we'll just expose it one time instead of four different times. <laughs>